I communicate online um, pretty much through Facebook. My main way of communicating with my friends is over texting and a little bit of email and a little bit of Skype. I like to use games to connect with people online. So when I accept a friend on Facebook, I primarily look at mutual friends. Or maybe I'll be in Spanish class one day and some kid I've never even met before um, will look at my Facebook and then we might become friends. Well, Friendless works on Xbox Live. It's sort of like Facebook where you can send and receive um, friend requests from people you may know or don't know. And I mostly like to add people that I do know. The way I get people's numbers is usually from school or if they put their number in my phone if we're like hanging out. My interactions with people that I don't really know usually consists of me, I mean, not really paying attention to their Facebook as much until I sort of, you know, get to know who they are maybe in one of my classes or things like that. If none of my friends are online, I'm mostly just gonna play a random game and I don't really have the intent to find a friend online. When I was 11, I first got a Skype and it was my first time using it and some random person wanted me a friend. There was one time on Facebook where I kind of felt, you know, uncomfortable. It was a kind of an awkward situation. One awkward moment I've had online was I was playing like in a game. This guy who I've never met before had some name in a different language that I've never seen before and he kept on adding me like over and over again. So I accepted and they started to talk to me. And they asked for my age and I said 11 and they said, oh, I'm 12 and I, where do you live? They were like, uh, just using a lot of vulgar language, I guess, and trash talking a lot. And it was mostly directed towards me. So they started talking to me and asking a lot of questions about me uh, before I started asking questions about them. And so my mom got really freaked out about it, which is, looking back on it now, I can really understand why she got freaked out about that, because I did not know the person at all. If you're, just say you're online and someone's harassing you, you can, mostly you can just, don't really have to take it because it's, the guy is maybe 50, 100 miles away, or you can just turn off your mic, just leave the game. If you ever find yourself in an uncomfortable situation, my advice is just to, you know, if someone's harassing you or something like that, just stop talking to them. Just don't, you know, listen to what they're saying and just ignore them. When you know something's off when you're on like Skype or texting, you kind of like get this weird feeling like this doesn't really seem right, I don't think I should be doing this. And when you get that feeling that you should definitely like shut off your computer or say goodbye on your texting or just don't respond at all. Well, if you're just starting playing an online game, I guess, um, try not to make your name like your actual name in real life and don't give out any home address or phone number. A cool aspect of being able to communicate with people that you don't know or like kind of like close, not like not close friends is that you can get to know them better and maybe you can see their interest and what they want to do and like become actual friends with them. I have some good friends who are um, from Redwood who I played basketball with and you know I kind of got to know them a little bit better after we had a game and I kind of liked you know their personality and we started talking on Facebook and now we're, we're friends in real life. I've like talked to people from like Qatar or um, England or something. It helps me just like to see what, what like get out of my little social box I guess of where I live and helps me see other places around the world and what it's like to live other places. I think it really depends on who you're talking to because if you're really close to someone and you know them and you're just kind of exchanging you know little cute little messages or something like that it's not really an issue but when it comes to talking to people you you know don't really know well and you haven't really talked to in person you know you never know how they're going to react and what kind of person they are and you know if you really want to be talking to them because you haven't had a conversation with them in person. Whereas at the same time, it's great because you could make a connection that you wouldn't have made otherwise. So you really gotta judge the situation day to day and you know, see what's best for you.